Today we're at the Los Angeles Convention Center, aka the Staples Center Hubba. This is one of the most famous hubbas in the world. So Jeff Raleigh was the first one to skate this thing in the late 90s. He did a massive 50-50 down it. It ended up being his first ad for Vans, and it was featured in the flip video, Sorry. The 50-50 was so iconic that Vans even had a statue made of him doing it. I mean, this thing is so tall. Jeff said he had to push really hard just to 50 it. The handrail is here, and then it's another foot and a half to get up here. Because it's so tall, I think that's why there's so many layback tricks that have been done down this. Micah Hollinger did layback board slide. Ragdoll did layback board slide to manual, and then off the curb. Destin, didn't you do a layback board slide variation? I did, I caveman layback board slid this like 15 years ago. Yeah, I remember. This thing is tall, dude. I had to like kick my feet up to get onto it. It definitely didn't get any smaller. No. Speaking of ragdoll, he also did caveman tail slide, which is insane. Really? Yeah, on this side, come over here. I don't even know if I've seen that. Yeah, I was in the black label part. He just runs up and caveman tail slides down this thing. That's crazy. Jordan Hoffart regular tail slid it. He did, too fakey. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're going to regular on this thing, you'd be going so fast. So Micah Hollinger was the first one to layback board slide. He also did kickflip layback nose slide. And then he did front 180 nose grind. Really? Yeah, that one's crazy. Play the clips, I need to see this. Cannon, why don't you name some tricks? Uh, Vincent Lavanos, uh, kickflip nose slid it. And nose slide big spin. And flicking into that thing is absolutely insane. There's actually a dude that apparently kickflip front 50 it. The footage isn't out yet, but there is a picture of it in one of the recent Thrashers. That's sick. So you can show the picture. My fellow Fallen Footwear teammate, Zach Doling, did uh, no slide kickflip out. That is another crazy one. The craziest trick that I've seen is Clive Dixon's nose blunt. Oh my God. He had to be going so fast. Well, he's got a lot of pop too. He also did crook down this thing. Oh yeah, in his Saturday's part. I heard in like an interview or something, he had a picture of the Staples Center up on his ceiling or his phone or something, but he just stared at it for months and then finally came and did it. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Oh, I'm pretty sure some dude blunt slid down it too. See if you can find that clip, Destin. So yeah, Jeff Raleigh did front 50 down it, but Garrett Steer did back 50 down it. Dustin Dolan came here and he tried lip slide down this thing. And kickflip board slide, but got broke off on both those tricks. And then I saw on Instagram the other day, some dude tried to ollie this and he got broke off real bad over here. Woo! 
Jeez. Yeah. I'm sure a few people have gotten broke off here. So as you can see, it has been bondoed up here. If you want to skate this thing, come get it. If you want to skate this side, you might want to bring some bondo because it looks like it's been chipped out a little. I mean, that won't really mess you up, but some dudes are like crazy picky. They'll bondo every single crack like 15 feet before the rail. But you know, whatever makes it easier for you to get the trick. And not only have people skated it as a hubba, Siebel Walker nolly flip manualed into it. That is insane. If you fuck up on the nolly flip, you could die. Mickey Molina three shoved into this. And then Chad Fernandez did half cap flip into it. And tray flip into the bank, rode all the way down. That's insane to even think about flipping into this skinny hubba. This thing is so gnarly, dude. And we have Kenny Day here who has volunteered to drop in on it in the rain. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, all right, get on up there. Let's do it. I knew I was gonna die. I knew oh my it. god. I didn't think you were gonna go for it. Uh, it's raining. I got it. Yeah! That's that crazy. In the rain. I know it's only a drop-in, but you're probably the only one to skate this thing in the rain. <laughs> Craziest thing's ever been done on it, man. <laughs> oh, 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 but I did forget one thing. This guy did a half cab flip into the bank, but landed in blunt slide, came all the way down the hubba. That one was crazy. So this hubba is gnarly, but it's an 18 stair, and Jaws over here a kickflip stale fish for one of his parts. <laughs> and then he came back and did kickflip melon over some girl twerking on the stair set for King of the Road, which is hilarious. That's a piece of cake for him. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he had already kicked foot Mal and uh, El Toro at that point. Yeah. So besides skate tricks, I know a couple guys on BMX bikes has hit the hubba. I know one dude 360 would over the rail, which was insane. Wow. Another insane clip that I found on the internet is this dirt biker put a ramp at the top and nose wheelied the top of the hubba and then rode down the bank. And then no he also rode across the top of the hubba and then just launched down the entire thing, <laughs> clearing it, That's landing crazy. on the sidewalk. <laughs> I love seeing the, the dirt bike street riding. It's so cool. All right, now we're gonna skate around and see what else is skatable at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Kana, what are you looking at? I really wanna see someone grind the hubba to the rail and out. <laughs> yeah, right. It is definitely possible. You might wanna cut this branch that hangs out though, cause it's got spikes all over it. That is fully doable. And it lines up pretty good for it. Someone goofy footed could probably do board side pop out if they wanted. Jeez. I, I mean, it's it's an ender for sure if someone is, someone's got that. But man, th those first attempts, not knowing what to expect, those are gonna be scary. All right, let's keep it moving. All right. All right, so we have just found a marble ledge with a waterfall. This is more at the Staples Center. 
not the Los Angeles Convention Center. I like how they skate stopped way down there, but <laughs> no. like right, here's, oh, no, there right used, here you're good. There used to be some knobs to be fair. Oh, okay, yeah, someone de this thing. What do we got over here? I feel like they uh, set up an X Games contest over here. They one year. sure did. Guys with all different types of styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each, each person's gonna hit the course in their own special way, you know what I mean? That's what skating's all about at the end of the day, is just come here, represent, and have a good time. So there's like a eight stair, nine stair right here with the kink rail. Be a great rail if it didn't have a kink on it. We got a four stair. Dude, this whole thing is waxed and it's like, you got the run up and then you land straight into the bush. I like how some of the ledges are knobbed, but most of them aren't. Most of them aren't, yeah. <laughs> most of them are good to go. We got some ledges over here that are all waxed up. Didn't this used to be all waxed up and not knobbed and I like ollied on top of a board and then rode across the ledge? Yeah, I did. There also didn't used to be giant screens everywhere. Jeez. We're in the future. Hello. What the? Where did this dog come from? Hey, Kenny, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody lose their dog? You got a new dog, Kenny? <laughs> oh, there's a Wally right here. Oh, there is? Oh, what? <laughs> come here. It, it fools you. You come to the other side, it's just hollow. Oh, man. Nice. Why is it bondoed right here? <laughs> that is weird. I don't Why know. is it bondoed? Someone must be doing something techie right here in a line. Yeah. I did some weird trick where I like swung around this pole and landed back on another board. Do you even still have that footage? I don't know. It's probably in a video on YouTube somewhere. We were like skating all over this place. I did some weird like handstand move over here. I was trying all the weird parkour tricks back in the day. Yeah, I don't think this would be a spot to anyone else but you. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe a few people out there that do the parkour skateboarding. I like the weird tricks. So we have just found a little three-stair outrail that looks pretty fun. I think this one's better, Kenny. Yeah, this is the one that everyone skates, it looks like. What's over here? A ledge. How is he doing it? All right, Kenny, we got your next drop in. Oh, hell it's no. it's dried up now, so you don't have to do it in no. the in the rain. This tree is terrifying. You're landing, and there's this planter right here with the tree. That's gnarly. I think it's possible. Oh yeah, 100% possible. All right, so we're on the other side of the convention center now, and Dane Berman 50 50 the rail up there and then rode down the hubba, which is absolutely nuts. Also, why would they skate stop this side and not the main hubba everyone skates? No one's skating the hubba here, especially with the kink at the bottom. I'm sure the big one was knobbed at one point. Yeah. Definitely time to go, security's on to us. All right, so besides a couple more small staircases and little ledges around, we pretty much covered everything there is to skate at the convention center. That's our video on it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment on any tricks we missed, and let us know what other spots we should check out. Bye. You, sir, do you know that this is a famous skateboarding hubba? Of course. All right. All right, if this is, was Tony Hawk's pro skater in real life, you could grind this double kink hubba onto this fence and all the way out. Maybe even to the street. To the street, definitely. Over the scooter. 
over the scooter. <laughs> this hydrant is on drugs, usually faded. <laughs> wow, Cannon out here with the jokes. <laughs> it was funny to me. <laughs> <laughs>